So this thing called TikTok came along a couple of years ago and to compete with it, YouTube introduced Shorts. But to make Shorts an attractive feature to use, YouTube introduced this permission allowing all creators to sample slash borrow your content, opted us all in and gave us no way to bulk opt out. That is, until now. Kind of. This is the button that's causing so much stress. Within YouTube Shorts, it allows you to view the source of the audio for that YouTube Short and then use it for your own YouTube Short if you wish. The main reason this exists is to allow you to use popular music so that you can join in on the popular themes and trends in the short video space. But on top of popular content, YouTube have allowed any audio to be used on any short, including your content. If you create YouTube shorts, you have no choice but to allow this permission. When it comes to long form content, however, it's a slightly different story. Buried at the bottom of your video details, you have a choice to refuse permission to creators to sample the audio from your content. While this is all very useful, the problem was when YouTube introduced this permission, they turned it on automatically on all of your videos. And the only way to turn it off was to go through each individual video unticking that. And that could potentially be thousands of videos on your channel. So now, thankfully, YouTube have realized that this would be a silly thing to do, so they've added a bulk feature to the video manager page of the YouTube studio. First of all, highlight all of the videos you want to change, and then click the edit button. Towards the bottom of this list, you will see a shorts sampling option. Click this, and then you can adjust the value for all the selected videos to don't allow sampling. You can then update the videos by way of a final warning, since this is a bulk update tool. Now, if you want to change the setting for every single video on your channel, you can check the video checkbox at the top of the list and then click select all. Now, this will literally select every single video on your channel. So to be clear, I advise you use this bulk update option along with any option on this list with extreme caution. It should also be noted that during the upload process, you can turn this permission off before your video even goes live. Hopefully that should fix your permission issues. And I wanna say thank you to YouTube for introducing these bulk tools. But having said that, YouTube, you're still falling short of what we really need. You see, the thing is, from a creator perspective, no one asks for these permissions, and I would assume that most creators don't want to get involved in this type of content sharing. So the best thing to do would be to add a default upload setting that just lets you opt out 100% of the time, so you don't have to ever worry about it ever again. Look, YouTube, I've even done a lovely mock-up for you if you wanted to use it. Now, apologies to YouTube if you are planning to add something to upload defaults, but I suspect you're not because you want as much content as possible available to Shorts creators. The problem is the way you've secretly rolled out these permissions, I don't think many creators are even aware of what's going on with their content. So maybe a little bit of publicity and helping people turn this off if they don't want to be involved in permissions, that would be lovely. Thank you very much. If you are completely in the dark about YouTube Shorts permissions, then there's some more videos you can watch on screen now. But I know that you're far more interested in knowing what the code word is for this video to put in the comments to confuse all the viewers that didn't get this far. And it's a simple yes or no. Did you realize this video is in 4K? I'm just testing to see if it's worth doing.